Hello, my name is Kane, and today I'm going to show you how to shrink an 8.5 DVD gigabyte down to a 4.7 gigabyte DVD. All you have to do is download DVD Shrink, which is a freeware. Here I am using 3.2. Once you have it downloaded onto your hard drive, simply follow the instructions to install it. Once you have it installed, open the software. This is how DVD Shrink software would look like. In order to start working on it, you would have to open the DVD into this software. Make sure that your DVD movie is copied onto your hard drive prior to shrinking. To open up the files, simply click on Open Files and then click on the main movie. The software will now analyze it. It will take roughly about two minutes for this movie here. And once that's completed, it will automatically open it into this window here. On the right hand side, you would see there are many audio tracks that you can remove if you don't want them. On the left hand side here, you can see the main movies and bonus extra and bonus selections. And you can press play to view the movie and as well as stop to stop the movie. Back onto the right hand side, you can see that the video compression is currently selected in automatic mode. In automatic, you can simply select backup right away and it will create a DVD that is shrinked to 4.7 gigabytes in size. However, if you would like to adjust disk space, simply go to custom ratio. With custom ratio, you can move this cursor here by going up, which now you see a red indicator, which means that movie won't fit onto your 4.7 gigabyte. And if you go all the way down, this gray spot here indicates that this a particular movie file still has space on that DVD. There are three ways to compress your movie to fit onto a 4.7 gigabyte disc. The first is to reduce the video quality. The second is to choose unwanted chapter selections, bonuses, audio languages that you don't want anymore. And the number three is the combination of option one and option two. First I'm going to show you option one which is to, to reduce the quality and fit it onto 4.7. Depending on how much space your movie ha has taken up, if it's taken up 8.5 gigabytes and you want to shrink it down to 4.7, the quality would be reduced by almost half. Once you have this opened up, make sure that this option here is selected in automatic, then select backup. At backup, you can choose the selected um, burner that you have. Right now we have one burner and it's located in drive E. This is where your backup system files would be located. Simply select any folder for that. In the DVD region, make sure it is region free. In the quality settings, you can leave that on default. And then we would go to burning settings. Name this DVD label that you would want to create. I'll name this test. For burning speeds, I'll choose 12. At the moment, it's 2.4 because I don't have a disc in there. But I normally choose eight or 12 times. Once that's completed, select OK. DVD shrink normally takes about 20 minutes to burn the disk. Now I'm going to select Cancel, and then we're going to go to Reauthor to show you how I'm going to create a 4.7 disk by choosing the selections that you actually want. In Reauthor, on the right hand side is divided nicely. You have the main movie and you have the extras. If you want the main movie, simply drag the title into the left hand box into this column here. You can press the play button to select to see if it's the right one and you can also press stop as well. So now if you go to compression settings you can select again automatic or you can select the custom ratio. We'll just choose automatic. Once this is completed and it's just one move, the main movie that you want and you don't need any um, audio options or any video extras simply go to backup and then choose the drive that you want to burn it at select that and then this would be the temporary f file that your files will be s saved in go to DVD region make sure it's region free go to quality settings leave those options in default these are fine and as for burning we'll rename it to as test again and then for burning speed we'll choose 12 right now again I'll choose 2.4 because I don't have a disk in there once that's completed, select OK and DVD shrink 
will automatically take about 20 minutes to compress the disc to 4.7 gigabytes in size and then as well burn that DVD onto your disc. Once that is burned you can simply test it on any DVD machine and that will play on a DVD player as well as a PC and Mac. Once again my name is Kane and thanks for watching.